Alright, so continuing on, this is a TPMS by iDoing. What's great about this one is it is universal. So as long as you have an Android head unit with USB, you should be good to go. Now let's look at the dial caps. This is pretty much the essential of it. A locking nut, and then you have the valve stem, uh, the valve cap. Tie it onto the cap, cap to the little valve stem, and you should be set. So let's put this nut in here and just get it nice and screwed. And then for this, you put it in here, when you hear it hiss, you just kind of snug it. You don't want to over tighten this. You hear how you hiss it, it hiss. Now you check out the back right there, and you kind of screw it in. Now I doing also comes with a little kit that uses a little wrench, and um, you want to put this on the little nut in the back, and you want to tighten it while you're tightening this thing. That way it'll get nice and secure. Just get it nice and snug, don't over tighten it. So now that's all you have to do to install it. Notice how this says left front. Left front, driver front, makes sense. Now you do that to all four corners. It's pretty easy to do this. You don't have to take the tire out or anything. It's all external and that's the beauty of it. So I'll show you how to install the wireless sensor from the inside. All right, so you see this puppy right here? This is the TPMS USB. Now, all you have to do is plug it through a USB from your Android head unit. I have several USBs coming in here, so I have two right here I can use. I also have one that, uh, that I can wire right here. But for this purpose, I'm just gonna use this one right here. But any of the USBs will work. Now, all you have to do is plug it in. So once plugged in, now you, or, uh, your sensors can talk to this transmitter. So let's fire up the car. So it automatically already detects the TPMS. Um, make sure you also install the APK. It's very important. Uh, I'll put a link down below for you to install the APK. So if you can get from this angle right here, I just hit cancel right here so I can show you how, what, how the APK looks like. But it's gonna be this one right here. It says TPMS. So you click on that, it's gonna be allow the app TPMS to access the USB device. Of course, we want it to. Uh, let's just uh, use by default. And voila, it already shows the sensor. So the sensor is now reading all of the little wiring stuff that I have all valve caps installed. Now you'd be asking like, hey, why does it say 22, 2.2. Now this is in bar, you can change the metrics, uh, change the um, units to something I'm more familiar with, which is PSI. And of course, um, I like Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. Now, there's a, this, I can understand this. 33.4 PSI, 36. So now it's showing individual wheel. Now back in when my, um, my car does have a TPMS internal, but it doesn't report individual tire pressure. So it's really neat that this has individual tire pressure. I'm ready to go. I can t even look at temperatures. Maybe that's good for tracking. This is my daily, so I don't do any tracking or anything, but I guess that's kind of neat that it shows temperature as well. But yeah, this is by iDoing and check out the TPMS. It's actually very affordable and it really, it could change your the way you drive. You know, check your TP, uh, tire pressures. It's, kinda, it's actually a safety kind of thing. So, and it's so well integrated. You can just, you know, hop back in and out real quick. See your TPMS, see what it's doing. Links below where you can get the iDoing TPMS tire pressure sensor. Um, it works for any Android head unit because it uses a little USB dongle. But yeah, also a links below is gonna be where you can get this head unit. The head unit is also by iDoing. Check this out. Turn on my, ooh, lighting it up. So if you are interested in this head unit, links below as well. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.